Okay. I have two Instagram accounts, one personal and one business. I haven't posted on either for two and a half years. I've been using my personal one to follow businesses and previously did the same on my business account. Is it better to merge or just reactivate one? So the question is, as it all, I mean, the answer is kind of like what I always say, which is the number one, the number one thing when asking yourself this question is, is your audience different? Is your audience different on your personal account than it is on your business account? It's, we start with the audience because if you've built any kind of audience and that audience is, is relevant to your business, then we don't want to lose them, right? We want to keep them. And so let's, we're going to take a look at your, we're going to take a look at one of your Facebook, uh, Instagram pages and then, but here's your business one. Okay. You know, uh, you haven't used it in two or three years. So obviously there's not going to be any real activity. It's aesthetically pleasing. You know, it's, I mean, this isn't good. This isn't going to get you any kind of real engagement it, as a grid. It looks good. And about three years ago, that's what kind of everybody was doing. But you have 101 followers and you're following 197 people. When I looked at your followers, one thing I could say is that they were all legit. Like they weren't bots. They weren't weird, you know, Cambodian accounts. Like they're, they're all like legit accounts. When I went to your personal page, which, yes, Okay, so very interesting, very different, right? Uh, about the same number of followers and following, um, but beautiful photos. You're obviously a photographer. So outside of audience, here, here's what I think, that um, you can combine both. A lot of people do this successfully. Now, Juliet is a, um, she's a marketer and she is a, she, she's a funnel builder and she's also a certified story brand consultant. Well, you are in a uh, good company because um, we have another story brand consultant in our group and marketer and her name is Heather. I think she's here today. And um, let's look at her Instagram. This picture is so cute. Okay, so Heather, I want you to notice as you th go through, look at the little berries. Look at these pictures of her where she did like an Instagram live or a reel. Look at her office picture. Look at her holding a book. Look at her car, okay? Her computer with a cup of coffee. I think there's a lot of coffee. Clearly Heather likes coffee. So we, and I'm sure you all follow Instagram accounts that successfully mix the business with the personal. So I think you just keep the account you like the best. I think it's your personal account. Um, maybe make it a business page in your settings, um, but use that one as your business page. And for your for all your new content, think about, you know, showing showing yourself like um, those beautiful photographs you if, if that's as personal as you want to get, then that's fine too. It would be all about what you write in the caption and you could tie it in. A lot of it can tie in into it to your business as well. So, um, because we do not do business with this, with this in our, I mean, this is not like, oh, I feel warm and fuzzy and I really want to get to know this meme, this red square better, right? This picture, oh my gosh, I want to know this person, right? So that, like, that's great. That's a great one. And you mix some here too. They're like your picture here of the thing. And you'll notice like that had 13 likes and this one had 21 likes. This one had eight, five, seven, you know, so... Uh, anyway, that was sort of a long rambling answer, but it's all about your audience. Number one, uh, if you've built one and they're relevant, don't, don't get, don't not, even though you haven't posted in, in three years, it's still an audience that you built. You cannot merge. You talked about merging. You cannot merge. Instagram doesn't allow you to merge accounts. So that, that would not be an option.